Well, we're here because of the seawalls that are back there. Um, and these seawalls we put up in October. And I come back every two months to just look at the biodiversity and keep checking them out and see how they're doing. It's to mimic the prop roots of mangroves that are naturally here, but in a seawall system, we've cut the mangroves back and instead put this very vertical system in instead. And so the idea is to just try to bring some of that habitat structure back into the environment. There's a lot of use by fish and uh, crabs on there. We're actually seeing them utilize it as the habitat and is actually colonizing it, exactly what we wanted. So there are panels, and the uh, panels are made of concrete and oyster flour. And the reason for the oyster flour mixed in with the concrete is because oysters send out a single to other oysters to say, come colonize here. This is even true for dead oysters. And then the panels have this shape of mangrove prop roots with spaces behind for animals to utilize the behind space of the prop roots as well, not just the, a flat vertical space. Oysters filter out the water and it increases the uh, clarity of the water. And whenever you increase the clarity of the water, that allows for more, of course, sun rays to reach the bottom of the surface and then that encourages seagrass growth. If we make enough of these and they go from one mangrove area to the next, we could be extending where sp species are utilizing the habitat and just kind of like a connection between the div very different mangrove systems. Really the ultimate goal is to put it throughout parts of Florida. You know, it's something that we, people are going to be putting more seawalls in. So when they do so, it might be the best idea to actually put in seawalls that have some of the habitat structure that we need that's being missing.